All right, let me do this and the next question as a group because they are relatively simpler calculation questions. Uh, so let's see. So it says pi meson is a particle that decays into muon and a massless particle. Um, pi, yeah, the neutrino. Pi meson has a rest energy that, okay. Um, and muon has rest energy that, okay. Suppose the pi meson is at rest and all of the missing mass goes into muon's kinetic energy. How fast will muon move? Ah. So um, you have to realize that this is a process that doesn't happen because it violates conservation of energy and momentum. Because um, you know, if a pi is at rest, meaning zero momentum, then muon uh, should also be at rest if uh, it's the only particle to come out of the decay. Um, but we're gonna ignore that for now. So I think uh, for nine, for the time being, this is all we need. Um, let me write down some formulas just to jog my memory. I have um, the relativistic energy is equal to gamma mc squared. And I have um, relativistic momentum is gamma mv. So I have written those down. And here's a really useful formula that it's useful from time to time. By kind of imagining, you know, take the ratio of momentum times c divide by e. When you do that, you will see some things cancel out and you get v over c, uh, which can be useful here. Um, not sure how useful that is because it's not giving me momentum of the muon. Uh, so I don't do not believe this would be useful for this question. So uh, what I would say is um, we say all of the missing mass goes into muon's kinetic energy. Um, so I don't know if uh, I can use the non-relativistic kinetic energy formula of one half mv squared. Because if that were to apply, then v is kind of simple. It's going to be square root of 2 kinetic energy over m. I have a feeling that that won't work. But let me give it a try first. And then if it you know didn't work, then, um, then we can try a more robust method. So I say square root of 2 times kinetic energy will be difference of energies there. I can say that... Uh, um, 33.9 MeV, or I'll spell it out, mega electron volt, uh, divided by mass of the muon, uh, which will be 105.7 mega electron volt, divided by a C squared. That's what I mean, electron volt unit. So I think that's everything. Uh, hopefully we get a, something in unit of uh, meters per second. Uh, megas. Oh, I don't know if that's correct. Okay, uh, 0 0.80009, see? Uh, maybe that's correct. No, it's not correct, that's correct. All right, so um, it's probably off by more than 1%. So we have to use a different approach, which is to say, well, um, so the kinetic energy that we've been given, that's basically going to be this. The relativistically correct formula for kinetic energy is kinetic energy is equal to the total energy, gamma mc squared minus the rest energy, mc squared. So uh, let me simplify this a little bit. It's uh, mc squared gamma minus 1. Meaning um, from the knowing kinetic energy that will be given, I can calculate gamma from that. Um, so actually solving this in my head, it's going to be gamma is equal to 1 plus kinetic energy divided by mc squared. Now, once I have gamma, it's like I have a velocity because from this uh, formula that you hopefully remember, gamma is equal to one over square root of one minus beta squared. 
I can invert it, solve it for beta, and get beta is equal to square root of uh, 1 minus 1 over gamma squared. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to first calculate gamma, get a numerical value, and then plug in here, get beta. That will be the replacement for that. So gamma is equal to uh, 1 plus the kinetic energy, which was 33.9 uh, mega electron volt um, divided by the mc squared that's just going to be 105.7 mega electron volt oh right they'll cancel out you don't even need those units so let's look that's going to be 1.3 something 1.3207 that's my gamma let me just write it down so i don't forget gamma is 1.3207 a unitless quantity so let me calculate beta now. Beta should be square root of 1 minus 1 divided by 1.3207 squared. So I get a beta of, yeah, that's definitely different. 0.653 instead of that. So let me put in 0 0.653. Let's hope that's correct. Good. <laughs> Okay, so that's one question. Let's look at the next question and see if we can reuse some of the formulas. Uh, alpha decay is a nuclear decay in which helium nucleus emitted. Helium nucleus has that much mass and it's given 4 MeV of kinetic energy. What is its velocity? Oh, I think I can use the exact same formula. So uh, we are given the kinetic energy directly. So the kinetic energy, uh, but well, I can't quite use the same formula because uh, let me duplicate this. So first I have to recalculate gamma. And that's the previous expression here. Um, it, the gamma is 1 plus kinetic energy divided by mc squared. So the kinetic energy here will be 4 mega electron volts. And now mc squared is a little bit complicated because I have to say it's a 6.80 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kilogram times c squared. So that'll give me a new gamma. I think, yeah, one point, uh, I need more digits. Uh, is there a data or can I, uh, more digits? Yeah, because I think a one point, um, that would have been basically one significant figure. So I'm gonna use all the numbers here. Um, let's see, plain text. So that I can copy and paste. Okay, copy it. And I'm going to paste that as the gamma here. Then the V we get should be pretty small. Zero point, but not that small. 0 0.0458 uh, C. 0 0.0458 C. Yeah, definitely non-relativistic speed, which you can tell from the relatively close to one value of gamma about any relativistic correction will be 0.1%. So, so that's the second question, um, the, or just uh, applying these uh, relativistic formulas. Uh, pretty simple. Once you know the right way to do, these uh, two questions could have been tricky, but if you use relativistic formulas, realize that whenever you calculate gamma, you can quickly calculate beta, then this is the chain of calculation that I would go through.